of it. Hi, this is Aaron Booker with Varvid.com. I'm here with Dean Perone. Dean, tell me a little bit about yourself and what you do for the uh, at, with Microsoft. Sure. So I'm a, I'm a principal architect on the Windows Server Solutions Group. We're the team that builds Windows Home Server, Windows Small Business Server, Essential Business Server, and the new Windows Server Foundation. What? Tell me, I, I'm, I think it's great for partners to know. So where did you come from? I've heard you talk on some pretty amazing topics. So. I've been at Microsoft now for 12 years. I joined back in 97. I worked on the Internet Explorer team. Uh, in 99, I moved over to the Small Business Server and Back Office Server team, and I've been in that particular area ever since. So you might have seen me talk everything back from SPS 4 or 5, you know, through what we have today. So. Uh, your SharePoint backup, I remember when nobody was doing that, and I heard an amazing talk from you on that. Uh, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, so you've been here at the booth and talking to lots of partners, and is there a lot of enthusiasm out there? There is. There is. Uh, you know, I think people are really excited about a couple things. You know, Windows Server Foundation is, is a new product that we announced relatively recently. Uh, plus now SPS 2008 and Essential Business Server 2008 have each been released now for about a year, and so, you know, we're meeting customers here for the first time uh, that have got a number of installations out there, and they're really getting a chance to engage with the engineering team, which I think is great. What are some of the things that partners are asking about that maybe they didn't know that was in SBS 2008? Yeah, well, I, I get a couple different questions. You know, one, people ask me, uh, for example, what are some of the things that I can do with SPS 2008 that I didn't know that I could do? Uh, I got a couple interesting ones. So one is there are tools built into Small Business Server 2008 that help you manage your internet domain name. Uh, now, a lot of people think that you need to buy a new domain name to use those tools within Small Business Server, and you don't, actually. If you have a pre-existing domain name that's already registered with GoDaddy or Register.com or Enom or other registrars that are part of the network, we can actually just reach out and manage those domain names without you needing to buy a new one. Uh, you know, another one I hear is, hey, does Small Business Server support more than one NIC in the box? And it does. Uh, we'll only automatically configure one NIC to, for use, you know, on the server behind the router. But if you have more NICs in the box, we actually will just let those kind of coexist and you can use them for things like iSCSI or secondary networks or things like that. What are um, uh, some other things that you, you're seeing that partners are just really embracing about SBS 2008? Because it's such a powerful platform, the exchange piece, I mean, sorry, I'm sort of taking the words out of your mouth, but go, please, you know, what are some of the things that people seem to be most excited about with SBS 2008? Yeah, I think the things that are really resonating with partners that I see is SharePoint 3.0, as an example, as part of SBS 2008, just a bunch of brand new features as compared to SharePoint 2.0. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of people really like the new robust infrastructure that Windows Server 2008 provides. I'm seeing folks do things like put branch offices in with read-only domain controllers and set up branch sites much more easily with SBS than they did previously. I'm actually also seeing customers now looking at using um, Windows Server Foundation as a second server on an SBS network. You know, Windows Server Foundation, I do get questions, what is Windows Server Foundation? You know, very simply, Windows Server Foundation, Microsoft makes two types of products. We make solution servers, which are like home server, small business server, uh, and essential business, business server. Those are aimed at a particular segment. We also make general purpose servers. Those are things like Windows Server uh, Standard Edition, Enterprise Edition, Data Center Edition. Foundation is just the new entry in that particular line. It's really just a general purpose server that supports up to 15 users, up to 8 gigs of memory, uh, only one physical processor. But if you have customers that need that, let's say for a file server on the network, or for a branch office server, it's a great solution. So in an SBS network with less than 15 users, it would be an ideal solution. be great, yeah. You could just add that in there as a second server and, and do what you like with it. Hey, well, thank you so much for your time today. It's always fun to talk to you. It is. I always appreciate getting to talk with you, Aaron.